So we got these two eggs and I'm gonna show you how to separate yolk from the white stuff, you know? And actually you're gonna need two plates to separate the yolks, you know what I mean, from the white stuff. So all you're gonna need is empty bottle and you squeeze it. Let's check, check it closer. Squeeze it and suck it in like that. Ah, too fast. Okay, check it out. Perfectly yolk egg without any white stuff. Let's try another one. Just squeeze it. How to peel an egg the right way or the Russian way? You crack an egg on top like this, small crack, and then you crack an egg on the bottom on his ass pretty much and then you peel a small hole like that it is pretty small and then you crack a bigger hole on the bottom like small hole big hole and then you just like you know put this small hole closer to your mouth and just blow as hard as you can freaking Crazy, huh? Bigger tip off right here. And then just like perfect peel off egg. And it's not even hard boiling. Alright, we're gonna put an egg in a glass and then pour white vinegar in there. And we're gonna leave it soak in for like a couple hours or so. But check out what will happen whenever we soak it in. Just half of glass will do. And we're gonna make naked egg. So anyways, we're gonna leave it alone for a couple hours and come back to it. All right, check it out. This egg looks like it's done. We're gonna take it out. And you probably can wash it off. But yeah, I'll just wipe it off, I guess. It's like pretty much naked egg. You see, and it's bouncy. Pretty crazy, huh? Very easy bouncy egg or you can call it naked egg experiment. First we're gonna peel the egg. So we're gonna light the piece of paper, whatever you have, piece of napkin, and drop it, let it burn for a second, make sure it's burning, and drop it inside the bottle and put the egg inside like that. Let's see what will happen. Check this out. Isn't that cool? Just suck it in, slowly. <coughs> oh man! <coughs> oh, why did I do that? So retarded! So you're gonna set on fire, make sure it's a small piece of paper, so it's filled in the paper, and put the egg on top. What the heck was that? Oh, that was cool! What do you think about it, huh? We stuck the egg in there. For this experiment, we're going to need some kind of dish, an egg, and 70% or 91% Ethiopian alcohol, or rabin alcohol. First, we're gonna break an egg over here, and then we're gonna put this alcohol in there. This one is 91% alcohol, and this one is 70. We're gonna leave it for about 10-15 minutes, and we'll see what happens. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's take it out. Here's our cooked egg. Our scramble egg right here. And this one is non-scramble. Alright guys, that's pretty cool experiment. I know you guys want me to try it. A little bit of alcohol shouldn't hurt me. Okay, let's go for it. <laughs> Today we're gonna walk on eggs and we'll see if they're gonna break or not. Taking the expression, walking on eggshells, putting it to the test. You expect you wanna step slowly and they're not gonna break. Check it out. You can hold my hand. Look at this. Alright. Real friends hold hands. Step it up. Step it up. Oh. Okay. Okay, now keep walking. Walk on the other one. Just. Oh no. Yeah. 
Now nah, keep going. Keep going. Oh! <laughs> Alright, check it out now. This didn't break. This only two broke. This only two broke, two broke. How is it possible? Let's start again. I'm gonna walk on it. Can you hold my hand? No, you don't need. It. So let's start. Look, check it out. <laughs> well, that didn't work at all. <laughs> you see? I think it didn't work because he messed up a couple eggs already, but um, yeah. You're an elephant. <laughs> so here's how to tell if egg was boiled or not. Let's spin this one. You see, it don't really spin hard. Let's spin this one. Let's spin them together. You see how this egg is spins a lot faster? Well, scientifically, if it's solid, the mass all together and it's like will spin faster and this stuff is like water inside so it's like spill around on that each turn and slow down because of that you know that's why it's so slow to spin you know you see for this experiment we're gonna need three glasses of water I have one regular water a second one with a lot of salt we're gonna need salt and a third glass just half full glass of water and you want some extra water in the bottom and then we're gonna need three eggs and a spoon let's check out what we're gonna do this is gonna be water density experiment so we got regular water right here just stop water we're gonna drop an egg and we'll see what happens you see it sunk like you know any normal egg would do it probably will sink in the water but this is like really salty water. I put a lot of salt uh, and then let's see, we're gonna drop an egg carefully and it floats in a salty water because of density, right? And we got the third glass of water right here. We're gonna put a lot of salt in there. You see how much salt I put? Mix it up. Make sure you mix it good. Let's put some more salt in there. We're gonna put this egg in there and let's see if it floats. As you can see that egg is floating, right? Alright, and now we're gonna put the regular water on top of the egg, like carefully, you know what I mean? The egg actually stays in the middle. Why is that? Isn't that funny? Alright, check it out. The non-salty water, the egg sinks. Salty water, the egg floats. And why is this egg floating in the middle? And tell me how does it work scientifically? Well, the challenge is gonna be, could you put an egg like vertically like that? And so you, whenever you let go, it will stay like that. Seems impossible, right? But let me show you how to do it. Well, guess what? It is actually very possible to do that. You just have to balance it and find a flat surface and just keep trying and it should be able to just stand like that just like that you see no salt over there no nothing it's just possible try it be patient and it's very possible it's number one purge and today we're gonna do boil an egg let's try this as you can see I got full glass of water and an egg in there and I fired up the grill, this is where we're gonna do it. Let's do it, check it out. Alright, as you can see, I got my grill. I'm gonna use this for my experiments, if in case it's actually will melt. Then I'm gonna put the glass in here. And I'm gonna close it. Fill it up all the way so it will not melt. Because water should prevent the heat. This is how it looks. Alright, that's it. Alright, check on our egg. As you can see, water is not boiling yet, but the glass is melting a little bit. Looks like our glass is boiling finally, and it's melted. The tin is cracked a little bit, but it's all good as long as we get the experiment done. Okay, what I've been boiling about five minutes, as you can see, the glass melted a lot more and some water have boiled out a lot more. So I think the glass about to be 
done cooking. So we're about to take it out. Looks like the water have boiled out, but you can see, I think we have cooked the egg. The, the glass have not melted. As you can see, there is still water in there. You see what I'm saying? So we're just gonna move it and set it right here and take the egg out and we'll see if it's cooked or not. Okay, we got the egg out. It's pretty hot. I'm gonna put in cold water uh, to so it will peel better and just blow it to this small hole. Let's grab a knife and cut it. Let's see how cooked is that. Yeah, man, it's well done actually.